What's up guys, welcome to your fourth Pi game tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be going over events. Now what an event is, is every time a user does something, such as click their mouse or press a button on their keyboard, it's called an event. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get those user events, how to recognize them. And once you know that the user did something, how to do something with it. So I already have some stuff that I kept from the last tutorial. So um, if you don't know what this is, then watch my last tutorials. I got the ball and the image um, file path. I also imported all the stuff we needed to import, um, initialized the stuff we needed to initialize. I already created a screen or display, and that's pretty much just a window that's 640 by 360. And I got that background image and that mouse cursor image ball ready to use. So now let's go ahead and get to what we've been waiting for, events. So what I'm going to be building in this tutorial is when the user press up, down, left, or right on their keyboard, I want to move that ball either up, down, left, or right. So we need um, four new variables. We need x and y. x, y, might as well build them instead of just talking about it. Let me move my cursor. 0, 0. We're going to set the x and y coordinate to 0, 0 to begin with just because we need to set them to something. And we also want to make two more temporary variables, which is move x and move y. And we're also going to want to set these to 0, 0, just so uh, we have something to start out at. And what we're going to do is, um, well, you'll see what we do in a little bit. But now let's get to the heart of our game, and that's the main event loop. This is the loop that's going to keep our program alive and be running over and over. So make it a while true. And this is to make sure that um, whatever's in here just keeps going and going. So this is where we're going to be building most of our program. So now let me explain what I kind of briefed over in the last tutorial. And that's the for event in pygame.event.get. Every time, like I said, the user does something, it's stored in an event. So if they do a bunch of different things like press a key on the keyboard, click a mouse, um, press Y on their keyboard, press spacebar, it's stored in a huge list of events. So what this does is go through that huge list of events and it tests each event and if one of them is an event that we want, um, then it performs action. So this pretty much loops through all of the possible events and gets out the ones we want. So let me go ahead and explain what I kind of um, just went real through last time and that's the quit event. Every event has a type. And this is either like clicking your mouse button down as a type, releasing your mouse button as a type, clicking the quit button is a type, clicking a key on your keyboard is a type. So let me just explain what's going on. I'm going to test if they pressed quit on the window, which is this. Clicking this little X button right here is the quit type. So let's go ahead and say if, let me get my space, event type is exactly equal to quit, then you you say all right. If they clicked that quit button, which is if that's the event they did, what do you want to do? Well, I want to take pie game, and I pretty much want to quit it. And so that's the built-in method to quit pie game. And I also want to exit my system, and just to make sure that it exits on every system. Um. All right. So now we know what to do if they um press the X button, which is the quit event type. Now let's test for another type. Another event type they can do is press a key down on their keyboard. And this event type is called key down. So let's test for that. If event, let me get my period right. If event type is exactly equal to key down, K-E-Y-D-O-W-N. This means if they pressed a key down on their keyboard, what do you want to do? Well, the first thing that's probably going to be useful is to figure out which key they pressed down. So let's do that. And each key has a special character, and this is called the event key. So this is how we test for what key they press down. So let's go ahead and put if event key, K-E-Y, is exactly equal to K underscore left, what do we want to do? 
And let me uh, do a little quick sub tutorial on this K underscore stuff. Every button on your keyboard has a built in name for it. So K underscore left is that left button on your keyboard. K underscore A is the A button on your keyboard. K underscore G is the G button on your keyboard. Every weird button like space and enter has a special thing like this. But for now, just follow along. So anytime I write K, D, that means the D button on your keyboard. So if they pressed the left button right here, the left button on your keyboard, then what do I want to do? Well, I want to take um, the position on X axis and move it equal to negative one. This is going to move it left. So move X is equal to negative one. And I'm going to need to do this for, for all the keys. So if event key is exactly equal to k uh, underscore right, what do I want to do? I want to move it on the x-axis again, but this time I want to move it to the right. So move x equals, did I get, yeah, positive 1. So actually I want to do elif for else. I can't have a bunch of if statements. And I'm going to need to go through to this and go through um, k up, k down. And so let's do that right now. Elif, actually, that should be k. Why don't you tell me that? Elif, event key is exactly k underscore up. What I want to do is move y, move y, and set this equal to negative 1. And this brings me to another point. When you're, uh, if you're like uh, in high school in math class, I think negative one on the y-axis is down. But since zero, zero on your um, computer screen is the top left corner, anytime you do negative, it's up. So I know it's confusing, but just uh, pay attention. You'll figure it out. So elf event key is exactly equal to k underscore down. What you want to do is move y, move y, no, I'm not spelling movie, is equal to positive 1. So um, this tutorial is getting kind of long, but those are the basics of an event. So in this one, every event has a type, and that's mouse up, mouse down, key up, key down, quit. And so the first thing we want to test for right now is if they press the key down. So if they press a key down, what I want to do is go through this and test what key they press down. So that's your basics um, on events. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be pretty much finishing this tutorial and moving that ball around. So um, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to check out the next tutorial where I'll be finishing this. So again, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you then.